Hi everybody, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving my patio a little refresh to get it ready for the spring. And it's gonna include this coffee table build and I'm gonna be using a aging accelerator on it. It's really easy to use and creates a really beautiful effect. And I'm just gonna be giving this space a refresh so we can enjoy it for the spring. So if you wanna see my patio refresh, just keep watching. If you are new here, I am a furniture painter and refinisher and you will normally find me on here making over and painting furniture. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. But today's video, I'm doing a DIY build. I do this kind of stuff with my husband every now and then and I'd like to put it up on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it. This patio refresh is sponsored by my friends at Hunter Fan Company. They provided me with this beautiful Cedar Key outdoor fan that is equipped with their Sure Speed technology and I'll be telling you a little bit more about it later in the video. But right now let's jump into how we built this table. We are going to be using Anna White plans today. She actually has a video on YouTube and plans to make this $40 farmhouse coffee table. So I'll link that down below. The build portion of this table we actually did back in the first week of March. That looks good. Boom. Nailed it. You did it. That's amazing. <laughs> This was the first time my husband ever did X's, so I was really proud of how well he did them and how good they look. So here he is just assembling the table. He made a few tweaks to the plan because we have a Craig jig, and so he used pocket holes where he thought it would help with better construction, but you don't have to have one of those. So here is what it looked like once he was all finished. My next step is I'm prepping the surface to apply my wood accelerator. I just have a coarse sandpaper and a medium grit sandpaper and I'm using my DeWalt Orbital Sander. I started with my 60 grit to really smooth everything out and get the ink off of the boards that you see here. And then I used it on the sides to really smooth that out so you don't get splinters or somebody cutting themselves. And then I took the medium grit and did a little bit more sanding. I'm gonna be using this Pioneer Wood Patina to finish this table today. What this is, is it's a powder concentrate that you mix with water. This little packet I picked up from my local Woodcraft store. I've also seen it on Amazon and you can buy it on pioneerwood.com. And you're just gonna mix this powder concentrate with a quart of water. This is the smallest one they have. You can also get one that makes a gallon and one that makes five gallons, depending on how big your project is. The quart mix is gonna cover 30 seven to 50 square feet. So that's gonna be enough for me today. So all you do is mix this up with the water and then let it set for five minutes before you start painting it on. You can use a sprayer, a roller, or a brush. I have millions of brushes, so I'm gonna be applying it with a brush today. And it's super easy. I'm just painting this on every surface of my table, really making sure that the boards are really wet and have a lot of that concentrate on there. Um, this can stain your hands, clothes, and other materials like stucco or concrete or window frames. So you really want to make sure that you're not getting it on any of those areas. And if you do, just wipe it off. So I have it over a drop cloth so I don't get it on my concrete patio. With most wood species, you're gonna see this react right away, like within five or 10 minutes, your wood's actually gonna start changing color. But with pine, it's a different story. And most of my table is made out of pine because that is typically what you're gonna find in the common board section at Home Depot. And that's where we picked all our lumber from. So that you're gonna need to set it out in the rain and the sunshine in order to mature the patina for a couple of weeks. Cleanup is super simple. I am just saving the mixed up solution. You can keep this, it says for a minimum of five years, as long as it's in an airtight container. So I just put it in a mason jar and set it off to the side and then just cleaned up my brush and my bucket with some soap and water. 
Okay, so I've moved this little guy out into the sun. You can see that these ones like already changed color. They must be like a different type of species of wood um, and not really pine, uh, but we'll see what happens. We're just gonna leave it out here for a couple weeks and hopefully it'll start changing. So during the first week that this set outside, it rained a lot and there was hardly any sun and it wasn't really changing color fast enough for me. So I decided to just add some extra pioneer wood just to see if it would help move things along. And and once I painted this on and sat it out in the hot sun for a couple days, it really started changing color. So if yours isn't changing color, maybe just go back in and apply some. And I actually found some spots where I had not applied any, where I had just missed it putting it on. So I did kind of like a second coat in those spots. So while I'm letting that age some more, I decided to go ahead and change my fan out. This is the fan that came with the house. It's really basic and just super dark for the space. And I wanted to lighten it up a little bit. I want a really coastal, serene feeling out here, really light and bright. So I selected the Cedar Key outdoor fan. This is the 52 inch one. And I got the white finish with the navy striped globe. It's just gonna give that coastal feel out here and just really brighten up that fifth wall all my ceiling. This fan is damp rated and perfect for an outdoor space like a covered porch or a covered patio. And the best feature is it is equipped with its sure speed guarantee, which has an optimized motor that's going to create greater velocity and airflow and more air means that we are going to remain a lot cooler in these hot summer months and be able to enjoy this patio all throughout the summer, even when it's hot and sticky in Tennessee. These blades move and push down a lot of air, but it is quiet and it is not wobbling. All right, so my fan is up and my table is ready. So let's refresh the space. I started by removing that little side table that I had there. I stripped the paint off of that last year and just kind of stuck this out there and it doesn't really fit. So I'm getting rid of that, putting it somewhere else in the house, just cleaning everything off, getting rid of all those cobwebs and ickies that have been out there during the fall and winter. It's nice to start with a clean space. The next thing I'm doing is grabbing a rug that I had in my living room. It was from our old house and it's really just too small to be in there so it's going to be a perfect fit for out here and by the power of pioneer wood and the sun and the rain here is my completed table i love this look it is so cool and it was really easy to achieve and i didn't have to use stain and all those fumes i am not going to seal mine just yet because i want it to still keep aging and kind of getting that old patina i think eventually i will seal the top and maybe the whole thing with a little bit of dixie bell gator hide i think that's going to be my best option for outside or you can use a UV coated one if you want to stop the patina processing it's just really up to you and since I can't go out to the store right now I am just styling it with items that I have inside my house already I even had a citronella candle to help keep away those bugs so here is what I started off with and here it is now totally refreshed for spring I love the brightness and the coastal feel of the fan and the rustic uh, finish of the table the finish this Pioneer Wood gave me is just absolutely beautiful and perfect for the space. It did take some time, but it was worth the wait. And here is the best addition to this outdoor space. This is our new puppy, Murphy, and we love him so much. Thank you guys for joining me for today's project. I had a lot of fun sharing it with you. I hope you guys are inspired to kind of get your outdoor spaces ready for the beautiful spring weather that's hopefully coming your way. I will be back next week with another project. Thanks again for being here, and I will see you next time. Oh, you blocked me on my three? Uh, you have to move that 12. Do, do. Talk to oh gosh, it scared me. Stop it. <laughs> oh, there's a child. Hey Murph. Probably we'll just cut all that.